The vaccine requirement for health care workers was also a topic at this afternoon's meeting of the House's COVID task force, as was the Delta-driven spike of the state's COVID-19 cases. Dr. Philip Chan says the modeling they've been using for infection rates are looking better than they were. He also told lawmakers they're seeing indications that the increase in cases and hospital emissions may be starting to level off, but he says we're not out of the woods yet. We are seeing and we are concerned about a little bit of a, a bump due to opening of schools, both K through 12, uh, as well as colleges and universities. As some of you may have read the paper, there was a slight bump at some of the local universities who identified a number of asymptomatic cases. And then there's Labor Day as well. As for the vaccine requirement for health care workers, Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott says some unvaccinated employees can't keep working past October 1st this deadline if it's necessary to keep quality of care. But the facility where they work will have to submit a plan to have such workers vaccinated within 30 days and specify what measures they're taking to prevent infection.